Welcome to Chapel Chat for term number two. I hope, boys, that you had a great holiday and you're looking forward to getting back into your learning. Since we're continuing with distance learning, I am going to keep pushing out Chapel Chats to you. And I've got a new component uh, this term. It's called Home Olympics. More about that later. I wanted to start with some birthday shout out. So a big happy birthday uh, today to Hugo and Jasper and Tate. You three boys are celebrating your birthdays. Now I'm also conscious that we had a number of birthdays over the holidays. So let me quickly run through these birthdays too. Happy birthday to these boys. <gasps> Jacob, Joe, Scott, Cooper, Max, Sean, Bailey, Asher, Jamie, Arav, Ralph, Ollie, Remy, Jack, Lucas, Edmund, Oliver, William, Kai, Alexander, Ethan, Jason, Xavier, Hamish, Bruno, Ryan, Ben, Otis, Ollie, Cameron, Oscar, Campbell, Ifan, Luca, Ran, Austin, and Cyrus. Whew. Happy birthday to you boys. One of the cool things that I came across during the holidays was the idea of a home Olympics. Now, since we're still in distance learning, I thought I could suggest for you uh, an Olympic event that you could take part in as a family in your house to see who is the best at it. You could keep a running total uh, to see who wins the most gold medals. Now today's event involves a biscuit. Now you could choose a super wine biscuit like mine or it could be a chocolate biscuit. And the idea is that you've got to see who is the fastest at getting that biscuit from sitting on their forehead to into their mouth without using any hands. Okay, now if you video this and uh, if someone provides a commentary for it, then it's gonna provide you with lots of laughs in the future. That is the first home Olympic event for term two. Good luck. For our thought of the day, I wanna take you back to the start of the Bible. Genesis chapter 1, where it talks about how God created the world. Because God, in the beginning, set the world up with these really important routines and rhythms. And that's a good thing for us to think about at the start of term 2. What kind of routines are we going to have? Because it's going to help us keep on task, and it's going to help us through the course of the day. Probably will even make our school day go faster. So I want to encourage you, as you start term two, to try and set up some great routines that you can have each day. When you're going to have a break, when you're going to go for a walk, when you're going to do the different things. Good luck finding a great routine. Our service in the home task for today is to... 100% yes! Make your bed, okay? So that's the way we want to start this term. With a made bed, it will get you off to a cracking beginning. If you haven't made it yet, go and make it, and then get into your work. Yes! <laughs> All right, just as Chapel Jack closes for today, we're going to say our prayer of St. Kennigan. O Lord Jesus Christ, who did give such grace to thy servant, St. Kennigan, that he readily obeyed thy call and brought light to them that sat in darkness and knowledge of truth to those who are in ignorance and fear. So inspire us also that we may follow thee gladly and hating all that is cruel and evil and wrong, may ever strive to banish these things from our land. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Have a great day. Good luck with your work. Get into it. Have a fantastic start to term number two. Until tomorrow, kakiteano. Bye.